will make will produce really revelation pretty much and what i'm going to talk about this idea that needs to be talked about needs to be understood about being a christian or a true christian and it's talking about the reality of staying in the middle with jesus staying more like yeah staying spiritually in the middle with Jesus. Now, as you know, that the ideal of the uh, sequence went with Jesus, that the scribes and the Pharisees had Jesus arrested, but we got duck action, y'all. We got duck action. Laying back and uh, shake that tail. Shake that tail. Shake that tail. Shake it. They won't shake. They won't shake their tail for me. Sorry. No tail, they won't shake the tail. All right, anyway, uh, the thing is, uh, uh, well, the thing is the uh, scribes and Pharisees, uh, of course, got, you know, convinced Judas to betray Jesus and identify Jesus Christ. But how come you need somebody to identify Jesus Christ when you saw Jesus Christ all the time? You know what I'm saying? That you you know ask questions to him so many times why you need somebody to identify jesus christ but jesus told me said well mac is one thing to uh be in darkness in the spiritual and there's another thing to be in darkness in in, in the physical that your darkness because you in darkness concerning how you do things that you cannot you know you know, uh, find, identify Jesus yourself and have him arrested. You know, you needed someone to do it for you. It is what it is. But anyway, uh, the thing is, the scribes and Pharisees, of course, arrested Jesus Christ and turned Jesus Christ to Pontius Pilate. And for Pontius Pilate, by the rules and the laws of, of Rome, to have Jesus Christ beaten and crucified because of course you couldn't have that done in the law jewish laws but you can have that done in uh of course in romans law and and the interesting thing of course jesus fulfilling the prophecy of isaiah that the law shall be on his shoulder the roman law and the sequence went on now the roman through the Roman system, Jesus Christ got crucified based upon, but based upon the choices of the Jewish people that everything facilitated. The Jewish people ran accordingly to hmm, the religious organization. Yeah, the, they followed the religious organization to tr have Jesus Christ crucified to put him into to push him to the roman system to for this sequence to happen now mac what am i trying to give you this idea well here's the thing about what's been what's been going on for a long time or yeah what has been developed in this country uh uh or have been institutionalized which concerning the ideal of a Christian a church and being a Christian um, the thing is systematically there is a religious church now if you looked at like I was talking to somebody if you looked at the um, uh, acts look at the acts the first uh, let me see let me uh, I think five to uh, if you read like uh, the Bible, the, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, and read it like a comic book, you know what you will see? You will see this idea of, the, you will see the idea that the number one enemy to Christianity will be a religious system. I mean, if you read it like a comic book, I mean, it, you will see that religion was the, is the number one enemy of 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 the church you know what i'm saying of christianity pretty much you know what i'm saying the 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 the, the enemy 
when it, you know of course got Jesus crucified and then now Peter, Peter and his and the disciples got the Holy Ghost and now they're you know ministering to people and people getting healed and delivered and set free and from all you know uh, healings and all kind of great things happening and and if you read uh, uh, Acts 5 you know it talks about that the scribes and the Pharisees went and sent people to get rid of these uh, Christians you know that's how you know of course we know the story that Paul got converted he was one of those uh, religious thugs you know religious uh, religion have been a thug for a long time the Catholic Church is you know uh, not the first religious thug system out there, but that's another message. All right, man, be blessed. You too. All right, and the thing is, uh, religion has always been the enemy to Christianity. And it's sad, I can look throughout human history of this pattern, and it makes so much ridiculous sense of this um, system being the enemy. Now it's the ideal image of the church um, right nowadays that religion is supposed to be an eye and Christianity is supposed to go together even though that Jesus was turned in by the you know religious authority and, and to get him crucified and uh, the, the Peter and the, apostles and the apostles were trying to establish the kingdom of God and the religious and you read it in Acts 5, the religious people, the scribes in the uh, council, you know, got pans of people to go up and attack them, you know? Why is nobody not seeing this? Well, it's more like who is ignoring it. But, you know about the pattern register. Now, uh, of course, you know the world system. world system is about, of course, uh, ran by the God of this world, blind the minds of men, getting people will be about operating in the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, seeking after things of this world, seeking after, you know, vanity, you know, seeking after to be uh, uh, better than everybody and, you know, uh, you please as much the lust of the flesh and, you know, every wicked sin and perform it and it's okay for you to perform the wicked things of sin concerning a world system that is coming against God, against the laws of God, blatantly, you know, in darkness and a bunch of nonsense. See, that is the world system. So you got two systems. You have a religious system that is kind of like tag teaming God, really, if you want to look at it that way. A religious system and a world system, you know, is coming together to team up to defeat really Christianity is what if you see if you would see the ideal of Jesus Christ you know on a cross he's in the middle in between two thieves and I did a message a long time ago that you know that God showed Jesus showed me that was interesting that that the thieves was more likely a sign you know, uh, and I did a message, it's called uh, Glory Thieves, you know, and the thing is, the, the more likely if you look spiritually at the crucifixion and you see two thieves beside Jesus Christ, what you're supposed to be seeing is uh, that the thieves are a sign to the thieves that are actually, you know, the group of thieves that are there. And the group of thieves were, you know, the religious system and the Roman system. Both of them have this one thing in common. They were about the, the power of the influence of the people, you know. You get the power and influence of people, you can do this thing called power and control, you know power of the influence of people and you can control them the way they think and what they do and and use and abuse them for your own gender that's been going on as you know for a long time and the thing is a lot of people are you know getting more likely conformed to this system and these two systems and these two systems are all about hindering 
really true Christianity to manifest themselves in this world system and more likely trying to create other ideals of something opposite than Christianity that you fall into and it doesn't really produce the results of Christianity you know they got all these like religious organizations of Christians and I'm, I am want to ask them where's the resurrection <laughs> yeah you ask them that simple question where's where? Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection you represent him so where's the resurrection you know yeah ain't that something where's the healing you know where, where's the healing 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 I mean that's what this Christian is after Jesus healed I mean preached the kingdom of God healed the sick did this and did that miracles okay the the Peter and the apostles healed the sick you know raised the dead did this and did that so where is that performance you know it's that simple idea if you want to know if these organizations is truly about truly representing Jesus Christ and where's the resurrection anyway well the thing is God Jesus Christ that what my message was about these are people uh, organizations are about stealing the glory of Jesus Christ for themselves stealing the glory of the attention of the eyes of people concerning for themselves for for the for them to be glorified for them to be glorified but not to, you know, of course God to be glorified or Jesus Christ to be glorified for them to be glorified one using a religious system and one is using a worldly system but both of them are in positions to try to want, to want to be glorified like Jesus Christ as you can see a lot of patterns in the you know Freemasons and Illuminati but that's another message they trying to be in the image of somewhat uh, seen like a God you know what I'm saying and of course religious people acting like you know trying to manifest themselves as godly people but really won't you to follow them that's another message but but if once we see and have the fear of the Lord and question just like I question uh, I ask the honest the God questions honest questions concerning what you learn about the Word of God and what the scriptures said you know what I'm saying it is written you will see these two thieves and you need no you need you will know that you will need to be if you want to truly be a representation of Jesus Christ, you got to be spiritually positioned in these three, two thieves to be about spirit and truth. You know what I'm saying? To be about telling the truth about God's word. It is written and you will be about cultivating the true ideal of Christianity and how it's supposed to operate according to the kingdom of God and, and, and the, the rules of the word of God. That you will be about defending that. Defending the gospel defending the truth regardless of where you at whether you are uh, in a in these church system or the world system you will be about defending the Word of God according to what it says and tell people about the truth of God's Word you know regardless of what people do to you you know what I'm saying because I heard the first century church was you know persecuted and crucified and and burnt to a stake and eaten by lions for for the sake of being a Christian but nowadays Christians you know they're just I guess Christians you know and they are they doing aggressive ideals to tell the truth concerning the Word of God and speak against sin and speak against the ideal of religion uh, you know one side you post on one side speak against sin on the worldly side and other side speak against religion because that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ because they came against Jesus Christ you know what I mean it should be that simple um, but if you truly about truly being a follower of Jesus Christ and being of the truth and not telling a lie and following the word of God you will be in this position pretty pretty much that Jesus I believe was talking about the faithful few the faithful few that will stand up on the truth and will follow God's word you know and and not trying to be you know doing be people pleasing but focus on being God please and that's the message that I hope you understand about spiritually being in between two 
uh, uh, every to being in between two with Jesus Christ. And that's the message. God be the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.